<coughs> okay, today we're going to be introducing natural logarithms. So we need to we're going to be considering um a special case of logarithm with um base e. Now e is a number that we've not been introduced to yet. E is an irrational number. In the same way as pi is an irrational number, so an irrational number can't be, they um can't be written, in the form a over b, um, <coughs> e um is round about two point seven one eight, but is um we'll, we'll keep going on forever, um, <coughs> is also known as, um it was first. E was first discovered by um, a Scottish mathematician called John Napier as he was studying logarithms. And this number E is a number which props up all the time in science, in the in, in natural world. And, and if you go into study physics, you'll find E um, everywhere. Um, so Napier was, do was alive between... He was born in 1550 and he died in 1617. Nearly a hundred years later, a mathematician called jo um, Len Leonard Euler, he then um, spent a lot of time studying E and it, as a result of his work, it became known also as Euler's number. And Euler was able to devise a formula for calculating E. And so he found that E is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And as you can see, the pattern building. So this pattern will continue um, for infinity. In the same way, and this is how um, this is the mathematical definition of the number e. <coughs> but what has this got to do with logarithms? So if we take um, the function y equals e to the power x, we call this a natural exponential function. And the reason we call it natural is because it's, it's, a, it's a function that we see all the time in nature. Now, logarithms with base e are called natural logarithms. So if you um so we so if you've got log base e x that's a natural logarithm but we actually write it in a different way. We write it with big L N for natural logarithms x. So when you see big that this L N X is a natural logarithm, it's a log with the base e. If you look on your calculator, just like when you when we were talking about logarithms of base 10 and you have the, the, the special um, button for logarithms of base 10, you'll also find um, a button on your calculator with the natural logarithm and, and a button for E itself. So um, if you have a look at your calculator, find where these are because you're going to be using them in the next exercise. So if we have y equals e to the x, then x equals the natural log of y. And we can draw, sketch the um, graph of these functions. So the because they're inverse of each other, we've got the, um, here's y equals x. That's like the, the, the mirror of it. And then we have the 
exponential function here. It goes through 1. y equals e to the x. And here we have the natural log goes through x is 1. And that's y equals the natural log of x. So e to the x and the natural log of x, these are inverse functions of each other. So we can say that y equals e to the x is equivalent to x equals log e to the y or the natural log of y. Now we can solve um, natural logarithms and natural exponential functions in exactly the same way as we were we would do any logarithm or exponential function. The same laws that apply to every other logarithm apply to natural logarithms as well. Um, so you would just do exactly the same processes as you've been doing previously. So I hope that helps.